Hello, Simi here again at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanic. I have a new tool here that I haven't tried from this brand before, which is Ansel. Okay, so this is the tool. It's from Ansel. We have it facing around, but we're going to open the case up and I'm going to show you this tool. I haven't used this myself yet. I haven't plugged it into anything. I have just made sure that obviously it's charged up and ready to use. We've got a user's manual here. So once we taken it out of the protective wrapping. We can see inside the box here it's got the connector cables and a few other USB cables for charging perhaps. Got a USB plug here. You've got the American style and UK style plug in here. So the VCI here and we're just connecting up the cable to that. We're going to test this out on a couple of different vehicles if we can today. So we'll get it connected up to my own van here for a minute. This is the VW Crafter. Okay, so we're in the vehicle, we have it connected. We've got some glare on the screen. I'm gonna try and see if I can fix that somehow. Okay, we've got a little bit better here. So we'll go to, first have a look at Diagnosis. Uh, VW Crafter. We'll do an auto scan. So we're in the VW commercial vehicle section. Okay, we have different options here. This is a commercial vehicle, so there's not going to be a lot of different modules here that we can go through, I don't think. Okay, so the engine is okay. Let's click on that, see what it brings us into. I'm not familiar with this tool yet. Obviously, this is my first time using it on uh, the first car here that I plugged it into. So you've got fault codes reading ECU information, data stream, let's have a look at data streams. So we're going to have a few different data streams here that we can look at. So there is a lot of items to go through on here. I mean it would be handy if we had a search bar here. I can't see one at the moment so I'm not sure if I'm just not familiar with the tool but I can't see any way that we can just sort of use the search bar to sort of type in what we're looking for uh, if it's a specific item because there is a long list of items to go through here so basically once you take off a couple of items you can just highlight these ones that we're looking at sort of so you can see that the live data for the air mass as you accelerate it up and down of course then you've got options for actuation tests must turn off the engine and ignition. Need to do another action test. Please wait 10 minutes. Okay. So these are just some of the actuation tests that we can do on this particular vehicle. Each different car is going to have different sort of items that you can use on here. So it all looks like a pretty good tool so far. So we've just exited the quick test. Uh, we'll see what other systems we have. Can can quick scan 2005 onwards. System diagnose and hot function. So you got oil resets, battery DPF, trans... What's, what was that one? Let's have a look at the DPF, see what we've got on here. It's NOx reduction, catalytic reduction, DPF regeneration. And you've also got your oil resets. Obviously, if your particular vehicle is compatible to do that. So we're going to exit the connection from this vehicle now. So like most other scan tools, it's going to have a long list of cars that you can connect it to. So we've got here Europe, American, Asian, China, Australia. So I'm not sure what some of these buttons up here are. What's that one? Oh, it takes a screenshot. You can record the screen. Alright, we'll cancel that. We don't need to show you that. We can do it, yeah. Let's go back again. Your hot functions, I think I've already showed you some of these really. DPF, electronic park and brake. That's just a shortcut into that. You can do your updates there, data manager, quick support, so that would be for your support. Feedback, data playback. So in here we're looking at the data manager, got images. This is just some of the screenshots that we've taken.
Then we've got the Diagnose History. Turn up 2014 VW Crafter. You can make reports. We haven't got any reports saved yet. Just a little bit difficult to get my finger in that corner. And just like every other tool, you've got your settings that you can change bits and pieces there. System settings. So a quick little look around the tool. You can see it's got a rubberized sort of case on it. It doesn't have a stand, so a stand that you can sort of clip it to the steering wheel with. And you can see there, it's just it's covered in a rubber protective case. Now I will put the link in the video description where you can buy this from, and I will think that I'll be using this in a couple of other videos. So if you want to see it in action uh, on a job, I, I will probably use it in the next next couple of videos maybe. Uh, and like I said, I'll put the link in the video description where you can buy it from. So I mean pretty much we're pretty much done it's a professional diagnostic tool it looks like it can do most of the stuff that you would want it to do um, I've not used this brand before and I'm not really 100% familiar with the uh, setup on it but it is pretty straightforward like like most um, but a little bit of tinkering around and uh, maybe I'll get the hang of using it a little bit better and then um, we'll use it on a few jobs and I'll add it into some of the next videos so see you on the next video